everybody, Rich Lang with Prep U, obviously not in the bunker. Much nicer place out here in the fresh air uh, in October. Hey, today's video, it's a real quick video, it's about being stranded in the wild and some of the things you need to think about uh, before you go on a car trip or a plane or a boat or a train or, or whatever. Uh, just to have your mind in the right sense, as we always talk about, you know, being aware of your surroundings, you have to understand uh, where you're going, where you, you know, obviously where you started, where you're going to, what's in between, and how to prepare for any kind of a disaster or an incident that people are gonna be counting on you, especially your family and others. So more importantly, your family. Uh, the thing is, you have to think about too is, and yet, what's your mode of transportation uh, that you're stranded in? Can you survive in that mode of transportation for a few hours, a few days, a week or more, depending on uh, where you ended up. Uh, are you in a car going to grandma's house and decided to take the scenic route and ran into a bunch of snow and got stuck? Are you in an airplane that crash landed and you basically uh, made it alive? Uh, a boat stranded on an island. Uh, a train, a train that derailed in the middle of the desert. You have to look at a lot of different things. You have to look at each scenario, each, each um, situation that you're in and what you have with you. Uh, do you stay there and wait for rescue? Planes and trains and buses and stuff like that, they will have radios, they will have contact, they will have GPS that the companies will know where you're at. So a lot of times you're better off staying where you're at. But if you're by yourself and you don't know that a signal was sent or you were in your car and stranded and you don't know how to get out, uh, it may be best to go. Uh, so let's just, you know, take a look at some questions here that you have to answer if you get stranded. How did you get to where you are stranded? Again, boat, plane, train, bus, a vehicle, a bike. Did you hike there? Were you just going for a quick hike and then the weather changed and now you're stuck? Hey, did you crash or did your mode of transportation just stop working? You know, um, again, did somebody send a signal? Is there a transponder with that vehicle? What about radio contact? Does somebody know where you're gonna be? What route you took? Is somebody gonna be missing you at a certain amount of time when you don't show up and they'll know how to backtrack, have local authorities uh, backtrack your trail to find you? Um, are you alone? Are you the only survivor? Are there other people? Is anyone injured and how bad are they injured? Do you need to stay with the injured person or do you need to get that injured person someplace quickly? Do you have food, water, proper clothing? Were you coming back from Florida and now you're going to your home in northern Minnesota and you crash somewhere or your car stops somewhere in Minnesota and you don't have the clothing that you need for the winter? Will weather conditions change? Does it look nice like this today here? In two days, it's supposed to be, you know, in the 40s and rainy and sleety. So are you prepared to be there for a few days if you have to be? Should you stay together or split up? Can, are people injured and they can't move? Are they too young to move? Is there a decent shelter for them to stay, but there's no food, there's no water, and you have to get either that or you have to get to the authorities to, to keep you alive? Do you have, or can you make temporary shelter? You know, uh, you should learn how to make shelter and stuff like that. If you stay, secure shelter ASAP. That's a requirement. You don't know how the weather's gonna be. It's gonna probably get colder at night. Uh, weather could be coming in. Uh, shelter is extremely important. Be sure that you can be seen for miles. Set up something, a fire, a smoky fire or whatever that people can see for miles and they can pinpoint to your location. Uh, especially if your mode of transportation isn't on a rail or on a road and it can waver from its uh, actual travel point. You wanna make sure you can be seen. Secure a water source as soon as possible. That's important. Uh, you can survive days, weeks without food, but you cannot survive without water. It'll start affecting you mentally right off the bat. Establish a security perimeter around you, specifically for animals. Obviously you want people to come find you you know, and uh, get you out of there. But uh, there are certain areas of the country, there's all kinds of, you know, snakes and, you know, different animals that want you <laughs> uh, for their food. 
Make sure that you address all injuries right away, as soon as possible. Remove all hazards or move away from them. If, the, if your mode of transportation is in danger of catching fire, exploding, uh, leaking hazardous materials, obviously you want to get away from there. Even if you're injured, get away from there as soon as possible. Get upwind uh, from those locations and get a fire started as soon as you can. Don't wait. You know, if there's multiple people, you can assign all these different jobs to them. All right. If you go, do you know where you're going? Kind of important are you going in a particular direction that you think could be other humans to help you out do you have the tools to get you there are you in flip-flops or do you have you know decent shoes and long pants to make it through the woods and a long shirt you know that you can pull down uh, do you have a hat to keep you out of the sun uh, if you're in the in the desert or a real dry hot area you're gonna travel at night you're not gonna travel during the day just hunker down and find any kind of shade it'll save you about 10 degrees uh, do you have the knowledge, the stamina, and the right mind set to get you where you're going? Do you? Are you ready to go? If it all, if, if there's a question in your mind, don't go until you're ready to go. That's just automatic. You have to have the right mindset. You have to have the right clothing to be able to do that. Once you've gathered all your supplies, what they do at, at Felmont, they do a shakeout. You don't want to carry unnecessary gear with you get rid of it you don't want to be the person hauling a suitcase behind you just because you don't want to uh, leave your uh, expensive jeans or your expensive shoes or whatever behind you you can always buy those you know uh, uh, they always say an ounce in the morning is a pound in the afternoon and believe me that's true after hiking for you know many many times in Philmont you get to you know learn that real quick to make it easier on you all of you know what you need to carry with Everybody needs to carry a get home bag or a go bag or something with them. And it doesn't have to be the crazy bag that a lot of us uh, have put together to keep in our cars. Um, but if you have this bag, it's going to make it a lot easier all the way around. So let's, what is the minimum that you should have with you? A knife, a compass, paracord, small first aid kit, lighters or matches, some type of fire starter, doesn't have to be much. A signaling device, uh, a mirror, uh, red plastic, something uh, that you, you can make, be smoky with uh, in a fire. Uh, water and or a filtration device, I would suggest both. All right. Uh, energy bars, you're going to need food, uh, something, you know, in the beginning to get you going or something that you can divide up and, and help other people with if you so desire. And then the last thing is maps of your route. I always suggest, and I always have done it, that wherever I'm going, uh, from where here to there, I always have maps. And I don't care if I'm on a plane, a train, an automobile, good movie by the way, um, I always have those maps, those hard maps. So if I go down, if we uh, crash or whatever, I know kind of where I'm gonna be, uh, kind of have an idea. Of what's going on um, these are all the things that you have to think about all the time uh, we're getting into the holiday season it's horrible weather you're gonna be traveling make sure you have your your vehicle kits updated from summer to winter uh, make sure you have a vehicle kit make sure you have you know uh, supplies and all that kind of stuff so I mean that's it in a nutshell uh, what you should really be thinking about and should be really having as always thank you for watching the video we really appreciate it um, don't forget, we're on Facebook, uh, Prep You. Uh, check that out. We try to get uh, some information out ahead of time before these videos come out. Please like our video. Please comment on this video if you have, if you have any suggestions other uh, than what we put out there today as far as uh, you know, helping you uh, survive in the wild and get to uh, a location where there's people that can help you. Please post it. Other people... Uh, make comments on other videos so it's really good so as always be aware of your surroundings um, and please prep like your life depends on it because we all know that it really does thank you take care